Good afternoon guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. So today's project I'm going to be working on my blue journal again. I'm going to be making some more ephemera and I'm going to make some belly bands to go into my journal. And what I'm going to use for my belly bands are these book pages. These have come from my glue book. You know when it's finished I just rip it out and fold it over and I just use them to make belly bands with. I think I'm just going to do three for now. So I'm just going to cut them down, I don't want them that wide, so I'm just going to cut them down a little bit, just like so, I'm not measuring, I'm just cutting to where I think, just like that, and then this one, okay, so let's just pop that up here, oh, I'm just hoping that the neighbours are having new carpets put in and I can hear them banging, I'm just hoping that it doesn't get too loud, I'm not sure whether the camera's picking it up or not, but we'll try and see how we go. So there we are, I've just cut them down just to make them a little bit narrower and all I'm going to do is just put some glue on the inside and just glue them together, I'm just going to use my Pritt stick just to glue them down. Yeah, I never throw pages from my glue book away. I always put them to one side to make belly bands with or pockets with or tucks with. Yeah, I always use them. So I'm just sticking them down like that. So I'm just going to do the same with these two. And this one. Okay. And then this one. Just like that, okay, so I'll leave the lid off my glue. Okay, so I've got some papers and some bits at the side of me. I've been into my 6x6, six six, um, what do we call these, design paper pads and I've chosen some blue and greeny themes, which is what my journal is. So I'm just going to do some collage onto my belly band. So I'm just going to rip some papers out, what I think I might want to use. Um, have a green. I think, I don't know whether to go, I'll show you, these are the bits of ephemera that I've put together, there's some videos coming up with some of these, some of the ephemera that's from a journal, but I suppose I could have a few different tones of blue, it doesn't all have to be that sort of light blue, um, aqua blue if you like, so I think I'm going to put a few different colours onto these belly bands, just to change it up a little bit, as long as I keep with the blue and the green. Which ones have I got out? I've got that one. Um, I just, I've got tons and tons, and I mean tons of these six by six paper pads, and I'd like to get some of them used. Um, I've just got so many of them. Yeah, I just need to use some of them. This is a Prima one botanical collection, so I could have some, some of that as well. Some of that, some of that. Um, I could even have some floral, I suppose, couldn't I? It doesn't all have to be that small. Um, what else? Some of that script, maybe. Yeah, I just want to use some of these paper pads up, so I thought this is quite an ideal way to use some of them. And I've got vintage feelings. It's got some blue on. I have got my blue kits out as well, but I just thought I wanted to use some of these papers and this is an ideal way, doing some collage to use some of them. You know, we can have a bit of that um, cream, I love that one with the butterflies on, I love some of that as well, I like that as well with the lines on, so yeah, I've got quite a lot of papers here now to work from, green one, blue one. Right, so I'll leave it at that for the moment. I've got some more books at the side of me if I need them. So I'm just going to start and just do some collage. So let's just start ripping some papers. And we'll just, I'm going to ink round over my tag at the ends, I think. So we'll just collage for the time being. And then what I'll do when I finish them is I'll go use my sewing machine and I'll sew, do a zigzag all round the outside of my belly bands but I won't do that on camera because it'll be a bit boring just sitting watching me sewing so I'll do that off camera but that's what I'll do just to finish them off that's what I've been doing with most of the other ephemera that I've made so 
as you can see I'm just collaging just sticking down one of my favourite ways to craft I love doing this I think I've said it before I just love getting everything out and just having a little play seeing what you can put together and my journal ephemera is coming on quite nice now I've got quite a quite a lot of ephemera to go into my journal so yeah let's have a bigger piece I don't want that straight edge I love collage I love collaging just with all different papers and whatnot stick that there and we'll have a bit of this lined paper half of these pads I've never even used so it's a nice way to get some of them used I've been really into my journal at the moment my sort of card making has took a bit of a side backspace really I've just been really enjoying my journaling at the moment so yeah um, quite a lot of my videos have been journal based at the moment but I'm really enjoying it so I'm just going to carry on while I'm enjoying it and then I'm going to put that little piece at the bottom let's just rip that a little bit okay so I'm just going to stick that down there and I'm just going to put a few little pieces where I've missed the just a little piece oh, I do hope you can't hear that banging I'll have to see when I'm editing and if, it, if you can hear it then I won't be able to put the video up but I don't think it's that loud I can hear it but I'm not sure whether you'll be able to and I'm just going to put a little piece on the bottom just a small piece just across the bottom there like that okay and I'm just going to trim off all the edges from behind the scissors I think I'll do the collaging first onto the belly bands and then we'll use some ephemera to embellish with so there we go nice and quick and easy collage there for that one let me just I don't want to wreck them scissors so I think I'll just look for my other ones there they are I don't want to put glue all over my good scissors because I'm forever doing that and it takes forever to clean them right let's grab another belly band and we'll start with this one again let's just put some papers down like I said, I'll ink around everywhere when I've finished collaging. So don't throw your papers away from your glue books if you use them. You know, you can always put them to use doing this. Use them for in your journal. there's no right and wrong way with collages it's just how you want to do it just just sticking your papers down it's just my kind of crafting I just love it really enjoy it just sticking down ripping paper sticking it down yeah oh, I don't need this one And believe it or not I don't know whether it's just me but I've actually put the central heating on today I've just put it on now we've been out visiting this morning and when I got back I was so cold I've just put the heating on to heat the room up a little bit I don't know whether it's just me my husband's just come in and said oh my goodness what are you doing with that heating on but I was felt really cold so yeah the heating's on oh and I've got my son and my grandchildren coming on Friday well, Thursday evening Friday morning they've not decided yet and it's done nothing but rain I'm just hoping the weather picks up for us then we can get out and about because the gorgeous weather we've had all last week it's just typical isn't it when you make plans so I'm just praying that the sunshine comes back or even just dry no rain then we can get out a little bit because the children won't want to be stuck indoors I'm going to use this gorgeous butterfly paper a bit of that down I still sort of stuck with the blue and green theme I've just mixed in a little bit of the beige as well but they'll go still go nice in my journal I'm sure they will uh, what other piece do I want I'm going to put another piece of that blue at the bottom stick that down there and 
and then we want another little piece for there what else shall we have and um, we'll have some of this green I don't like being cold I don't like being too hot but I don't like being cold I prefer being too hot than being cold so I'm just trimming off from behind again I'm not going to decorate the backs because these will you won't see the back because they'll stick the top and bottom into my journal um, I might have to cut them down actually I'm going to get my journal and measure it in a minute and see see how much I need to cut them down right let's do this one then um, I've got some of this paper here I've got some this is from one of the kits that I've been using for a lot of my embellishments I think it's the blue botanical vintage butterflies by Janie B journals if I can remember I will link link them in my description for you so we'll use a little bit of that some more here I'm going to rip that postcard up that down let's just rip that white off I don't want that and that little bit off the top a little bit off the bottom stick this down let's do it the right way just like that uh, which other ones have we not used I've got all sorts here on my desk um, let's have a look what else do we want I think we'll have a little bit of that down the side there I think it's much easier well I find it easier when I make putting a journal together if I've got some ephemera ready you know then just to, to you've got the ephemera there to use in your journal um, and you don't have to stop and think about what ephemera you need I find it an easier way when I'm putting a journal together I do like to try and make some of the ephemera before I do the journal and then work on it that way but everybody's different are they you all have your own ways of doing things it's just the way I that works for me really that I find works for me and I've got some embellishments ready to use Up. I'm doing well with my print stick at the moment I've not got in a mess just yet I'm going to change my glue page in a minute because that's getting a little bit sticky we'll just stick another piece down oh my glue is gone uh, which piece shall we have we'll have a piece of this blue at the bottom there like that let's just put that over there I'm just going to take this page off yeah I just fold them either fold them in half that way or fold them in half that way and then just create pockets and whatnot with them that's what I do with mine so I'm just going to stick that there right okay so there we go so there's my three belly bands just with some collage on so let's just put all this rubbish in the bin and then we'll look at what we're going to stick on the front of them just get rid of this first Okay, I'm just going to get my journal and see how long I want these. Oh, look at that. Perfect. They'll just fit lovely. I might just have to cut a little bit off the top. I think I'll just cut just a tiny bit off the top. Just a little piece. And then they'll fit perfect on my pages like that okay let me just trim around this one just trim the back of here let's get rid of these bits okay Put that in the bin right what do I want to put on here let's have a look we'll start off with this one um, I think first of all I've got some lace I think I'm going to put some lace down that side do I want blue or do I want hmm I'm going to go with a piece of that first right let's just find my fabric glue 
some glue down. I need to refill my bottle. Not coming out as quick as it used to. Okay, so let's put that piece of lace down there, just like that. I'm just going to hold it till it grabs a little bit. And then I think I'm going to stick a little piece of this. This is actually adhesive this, I didn't know that, but I'm going to put a little bit of glue on as well. Just put a bit of glue on here, then make sure it stays on. Stick that just there at the side. I don't want to put too much on, I don't want them over embellished. Um, what else have I got? I've got all sorts of stuff here at the side of me. Let's have a look for a ticket or something like that. These are from Shabby Dabby Dooda uh, Ephemera Extra Set 3. Got a blue one there. Let's just cut around this. Before I go any further, I'm just going to bring in my ink. What have I done with it? Here it is. Um, I'm going to use my chipped sapphire. And I'm just going to ink around the edge of here. So I'm just going to lace a little bit. And then I'm just going to ink around this little number when I can get hold of it. Just like that, I'll leave that ink there. Right, so I'm going to stick this just down the bottom. And I'm going to use flowers, I think, on the front. I bought a kit last night. Um, it's from Far Mirage and it's just, called, it's just called Blue Flowers Set 1. And it's this one here. And you get one, two, one, two, five lots of flowers. I was looking all over Etsy for blue flowers. So I'm going to use these on the front of my belly bands. Let's have a look which ones we want. They're beautiful aren't they? Look at those big ones. I like some of these. So I'll just go to choose which one I want for the front of here. We'll just go with that one. And I'm just going to roughly fussy cut around the, the flower. Just get my fussy cutting scissors. I am going to leave a little bit of a board. I'm not going to go right up to the leaves because they're too, too fiddly. But I thought these were really lovely and it was really an expensive kit. I think it was only about a pound, 94 pence. I think it was actually. It wasn't expensive. So I thought these would be really nice. Like I said, I am going to leave a little bit of a border and then it just makes it easier for cutting. Not sure if they'll be big enough, but we'll have a look. Yeah, they'll be plenty big enough to stick on the front there, and then we'll stick something else on. Let's just ink around this a little bit. Let's stick this down. And then I want to use a little word. So where's all my words? I don't think I've got them out, but I think they're just at the side in here. Uh, which ones do we want? I think we'll use these today. These are from Journal's Little Spots. I'm just going to cut around some of these. Let's just put them there. Then I've got some where to... And then I want some butterflies as well. Which one do I want? Um, we'll have that one live freely. Just put it off. 
as I've said before I have got an addiction to buying these words I just love anything that's got words on I love all the Tim Holtz ones and I love all the Etsy kits I've bought I've got quite a lot with just little quotes and little words on I use them a lot in my journaling as you've probably seen just going to see if that's going to be big enough yeah it will be let's just put a little bit of ink round where I put my thing this what do we call it blending tool is it blending sponge so I'm going to stick that down and I'm going to stick that just at the top there and then I think I'm going to have a butterfly these are called rainbow of butterflies and these are from happiness in crafting this again is another Etsy. Oh, I've got some there as well. I like them. I'll cut one off here for now. I'm going to go with that little blue one there. Put to one side. Hey, where's my fussy cutting scissors? And the good thing is there's no antennae to cut round on these because there is none so much easier to cut. Okay, let's just put a bit of ink on the wings and then see where I want to stick it. I think we're just going to stick it just there. I think I'm going to pretty much embellish them the same so they're sort of matching in my journal you know different pages I'm going to stick that butterfly there on a bit of an angle just trim off the edge and I think I've got enough on there so there's my first belly band that one there so I'll just put that to one side let's bring in another one I'm going to ink around this first before I start sticking anything down Okay, right, what else have we got? Let's just put these little bits in the bin. Just try and keep my desk a little bit tidy. I think we might have some more lace, but I think we might have some white lace on this one. So I've got some crocheted lace. Oh, is that too thick? Uh, I've got some more lace here. Hmm, I like that one, I think. Yes, I like that one. I think we'll have some of that. She says. Right, where do I want to put it? Do I want to put it right down the middle like that? I think that would look nice, wouldn't it? Yep. So I'm going to glue right down here. I really do need to fill up this little glue pot. Should be okay for this video. I have got the big container at the side of me, but I just find it easier on my hands using this little one. I haven't got much strength in my hands. So I'm going to stick that down there, like that. I'm going to leave it hanging at the bottom because I'd be happy if that was hanging out in my journal. What else do we want? I'm going to use another flower, definitely going to use another flower. Um, what other tickets and that have I got here? Um, some more here. Looking for sort of bluey colour ones. What's that? What about that one? Yeah, we'll go with that. Just ink it around the edges and stick this down. Um, this one was from. Oh, I don't know. I've not labelled the packet. I'm not too sure where this one's from. I normally put labels on everything so I know where they've come from, but I don't know why I haven't on that one. Right, so I want another flower. So I'm going to choose, say, one off here again. I'm going to go with this one next to it. I'm going to stick with the flowers and I'm just going to fussy cut around this just roughly. Like I said, I'm going to leave a border with this one as well. It's just be much easier to cut. I don't mind that little 
cream border. I did have a tidy up of my desk, not yesterday, the day before, and I've sort of rearranged all my desk because I've got a really big corner desk. It's got a lot of space on top, but I've got three shelving units sat on top of it. So I've reorganised all my shelves, so I've got sort of like my journaling stuff all on one shelf, all my card making stuff on another, and then like all my mixed media, my art journaling stuff on another, and I'm much happier with it because I know where to put my hands now if I'm looking for something in particular it's all sort of it I can see much more organised so I was really happy when I did that it was working great at the moment it's just I don't have much actual on top desk space because I've got that much on it when I get all my kits out and that when I'm doing this type of thing it doesn't leave much room on the desk but it looks better than it did so I'm going to stick that flower in the middle and um, let's just put some ink around the edge just to get rid of that glue on. Um, in case you're wondering I've got three in one glue in this little bottle I've just decanted some in here just like I said I just find it easier on my hands and it comes out quite fast in the big bottle I prefer this little one so I'm going to sit that there like so um, I want another butterfly I'll just, I'm just going to stick the same again I think just a butterfly and another word at the top there I'm just going to stick with the same theme because I think it'll just look nice in the journal and we want another word we'll have this one imagine just cut around here I might even get some little gems and put some little gems on these just to pretty them up a little bit. I think that's what I'll do. I don't very often use them but I have used them on some of my embellishments and they look really nice. So I'm going to stick my Imagine there. Oops, not going to stick. Is it straight? That will annoy me if it's not straight. Yeah, and then I'm going to use another butterfly but we'll have one of these this time. This is a beautiful download as well, this um, rainbow of butterflies. I was made up with this one. I think we'll go with that one there. Uh, no, we better go with the small one. I think the big one will be too big. We'll try that one. Oh, a little one there. We'll save that. Just cut around here. Butterflies and words tend to be the two things that I collect a lot of. I just love Etsy, I just love buying digital downloads because you can just do so much with them, it's just, I love it. I'm sure I'm not the only body, only body. I'm sure I'm not the only person that loves Etsy. Um, just so much to choose from, isn't there? Gorgeous kits. Um, is that one big enough or do I want the bigger one? And where would we stick it, top or bottom? I may, where's that little one, I may stick three butterflies on this one. Oh, that one's actually, the wings cut off that one. Let's just cut these other two. I might put three on this one. Right, let's just cut around these. It won't take me a second, well a minute, it'll take me more than a second, a minute never overly fussy when I'm fussy cutting. There's another one. Yeah, I think the three will look nice on here. What have I done with the third one? Here it is. I 
there we go let's just pop this in the bin <laughs> excuse me right let's just get my ink and just ink around the wings a little bit and this one So where are we going to sit then? We'll have the big one there, we'll have that one on the just at the top of the flower and then we'll have this one down the bottom. I like that very much. Okay, so we'll stick that one that way. Shall we zoom in a little bit? I should have done that before really. Um, it's just if I have it too close you can't see the top what I'm doing but while I'm working okay and we'll set that one um, just on the leaf there and then this one at the top just that way like that I'm happy with that I really like that one so there we go there's that one. So let's bring in our last one and see what we're going to put on here. Right, what we're going to use on here. Um, I can't decide. Perhaps we should go for some of this colour on this one. What do we think? I don't know about that. Let's just grab my basket and see what else I've got here. Um, I've got too many baskets. Let's have a look what's in this one. I've got a blue but I don't want the blue. What about green? Um, maybe just a little piece of green. What do we think? I've got hair there and it's annoying me. Right, so leave that there, that bit of green. And then I think I want a thinner. What's this one? Let's have a look whether we put some of that there. Let's cut that off. Cut that there down the side. Perhaps even go this side for a change. Go that side. And then stick that green on the top there. What do we think? No, I don't think I want that green. I think it spoils it. I think it's too thick. Let's cut it in half a little bit and see what it'll look like. A thinner piece. I just think a little pop of green, you know, because I've got green in the papers and that. That's better. I much prefer that, just a little piece. Um, yeah, I think we'll go with that. Should we? I can't decide. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. We will. We'll stick it down. Unless I change my mind before I when I've stuck this piece down. I'm, I hate it when I'm not 100% sure, you know, when you see something and you're not too sure whether you you like it. I should have inked around it first, but we'll do that in a minute. Do I stick that little piece of green on there? Yeah, we'll go for it. Why not? We'll stick it down. It's only a little piece, isn't it? Just think with that little pop of green. Leave it like that. Let's just get my ink in ink around the edge go over that blue a little bit okay right we want a flower do I want a bit of this as well let's have a look at that let's go with the whole hog put a little bit of blue on as well just thinking if I've got three layers yeah we'll go with that as well and just layer it up. I had no idea that this was adhesive but like I said I'm going to put a bit of glue on just to make sure it doesn't come off. I'm going to stick that there like that. Yeah I'm happy with that so let's just put that back in there. Right we want another flower. <coughs> Which one shall we have? We'll have this one here um, shall we or shall we go with um, yeah we'll have this one too many to choose from, too many nice ones. Okay, I'll just get my scissors, just fussy cut around here. I am going to cut some of them leaves off because there's too many. Oh, 
and then I think I'll get my gems out and we'll stick a few little gems on just like that I'm going to leave that leaf there okay let's just use my ink And we'll stick this down there. And that stick on there. Yep, yeah, we'll stick that down. Hopefully it'll stick over all that lace. And we'll stick that one a bit further down. We'll just stick it there like that. Just press it down. Okay, and I want a word for the top. What should we go with this time? Where's the words? Um, we'll have dream because it's near the top so you just cut out come on just cut around here And again, I'm just going to use my ink. Let's just get rid of those bits off there. My ink pad. I've got all sorts of stuff here at the side of me that I thought I was going to use, but I think I wanted to keep them sort of the same theme. That's why I've stuck with the flower and the butterfly and the word. Okay, let's stick that down. I'll just stick that at the top there. And then we want a little butterfly for down the bottom. And we'll go with this one here. If it's not too big, we'll have a look and see how big it is when I've cut it. decide whether to put some gems on or not just to stick a few on I think I will okay let's see if that butterfly is not too big what do we think now we'll stick it down the bottom there let's use my ink from behind okay so I'm just going to grab some gems I won't be a minute okay then guys so I've got some little gems that I'm going to stick a few on I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down just to make sure they stay on just put three on each one okay let's just grab my in fact, I'll just take them off with my hands, just put them on there. I can't see where I've stuck the, the glue now. And then uh, this one. Yeah. The tiny. I can't see where I've put the glue. Yeah, then three little gems just finish it off, I think. Or do they? I don't know whether I like them. No, I think I prefer them without. I'm taking them off. Change my mind. I prefer them without. That's so we don't pull the paper. Yeah, I prefer them without in this occasion. So there we go then, guys. I'll just hold them up again for you. We've got that one. And that one. And then that one with Freely. So there we go, there's my belly bands made for today and as always thank you so much for stopping by to watch. Please come along and join me if you're not already subscribed to my channel and if you do don't forget to tap that little bell which will notify you when I've got any new uploads. I'll leave all my links in the description. So until my next video guys, take care, bye.